Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. This is my second Trash It and Cash It for the year of 2023. I'm super excited about it. I'm also a little nervous about how this year is going to like be monetary speaking. If you guys saw my get ready with me, um, Bandit does need surgery and it's going to be very expensive. Luckily, we have pet insurance, but it's still a lot of money that we're going to have to dish out. So um, I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful this year, but I have a decent amount of things that are exiting my collection, but I've also purchased a few things. But we are just going to talk about my empties. We'll talk about my intentions for February and then like with purchases, those go together basically. And then we'll touch base with like what I want to do for March, what I'm thinking I'll be able to accomplish in March. I don't know. I have wrote down in a general order of how I finished these. I don't know if it's verbatim. Oh man. So I don't know if this is verbatim with how I finished them, but it's as close as I can really get right now. One of the first items that I ended up finishing the month of February, I finished very early on. This is a Epsom salt, just soak. This is the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. This is the glow and radiance one. This is just like the vitamin C one. So it smells like oranges and citrus. It smells really nice very very orangey um would probably repurchase but i'm in no rush Ooh, a big one that i finished and like maybe not well it is big because it's like bigger than my head but also like big because this is probably my biggest ticket item that i finished throughout the month this thing is so expensive this is the pureology hydrate conditioner first of all this is my favorite conditioner smell ever it's mint just smells like minty goodness. I love mint shampoo and conditioner. I just, I flip and love the way mint feels on my scalp, smells. It makes me feel like I'm clean, like super clean. Would repurchase, have repurchased. This is, I've gone through so many of these. It's unreal. I'm switched my conditioner for the next time. So I'm a little sad that I don't have this minty goodness in my shower anymore, but I will find my way back to this eventually absolute favorite conditioner ever hands down ever something that came and went <laughs> out of my life very quickly is this mascara now i will be very honest i don't think the formula was bad i think i just bought a literal ancient one so ulta does these things where they have like a yellow ticket event and it's trying to clear inventory out of the stores long story short of it so i got this on a super sale so I ended up paying under $2 for this. I paid $1.88 for this a few months ago. Opened it on the 1st of January and it is so unbelievably dry. Like there's definitely product in there, but the formula is so dry. It's hard to coat my lashes with it. And I just don't want to fuss with mascaras that don't bring me joy, especially when I have mascaras in my life that I like. I have used all $1.88 worth of money spent on it within the month. Something else I'm pretty excited about, and I don't know how long this took me because I've had this open in my shower for a long time. Not a long time, but like a couple months now. I finished a lip scrub from Flower Beauty. This is the Petal Pout Lip Scrub. I have another one of these. I don't really like it. I bought it, it was on a two pack. They were having like some lip event or something at Ulta a year ago-ish. And I bought this thinking I would really like it. It's just okay it's kind of suspended in like a sludge it's like a balm with grit in it or like the sugar scrub is inside of a balm so it's hydrating when you're like scrubbing but i don't want i don't need a hydrating balmy scrub i just want to scrub my lips and then i'll put a balm on top of it so i wouldn't repurchase this i have another one that's been in my collection but i wouldn't repurchase this guy Ooh, something i have actually repurchased is this this was a mini tea tree by paul mitchell special color shampoo they say this is an invigorating anti-fade cleanser this is the best adjective i could use to describe this this is a very invigorating shampoo it is super tingly it almost has like a mint meets licorice root or like licorice kind of smell but it is so unbelievably like zesty on the scalp it is so good it is so good to the point where i ended up buying a giant size like this of this because i truly loved how it made my scalp feel so i really like this 
I'm gonna take both of the things that are causing this bag to be sludgy out because they're the same thing. So I'll just talk about them in tandem. I ended up finishing a couple tree hut scrubs. The first one I finished up was actually this mini. I ended up taking this on my trip to Las Vegas that I went on in October and finished half of this up. And then I just kind of was like, I don't wanna waste it. This is the same boat. I had like a tiny little bit and I was like shaving my legs and stuff and was like in the shower. And I was like, you know what? Why am I like holding on to like the little tiny remnants when I have a full other one of the same scent plus a mini of this scent plus another mini in a different scent. So like, why am I holding on? Why am I trying to like savor things? Just like use it up, it's fine. A scrub that I wouldn't repurchase, but I did repurpose the packaging on. This is something that I bought in Las Vegas actually. I ended up finishing this guy here. The hotel that we stayed up had one of these like boo boutique thingies in it. This is the Nectar Bath Treats Yogurt Body Peel. They say that they run a sale buy two, get two free. So I'm just saying that they're 15 bucks. Like I would not spend $15. This, first of all, was not super scrubby. Like these for $10 are so scrubby and half the time they're on sale at Ulta in some capacity. This wasn't super scrubby. It's definitely more hydrating. So I mean, maybe if you have severely dry skin, you're like, I need something to exfoliate, but I'm so dry. This might be a good one, but I just feel like for the money that I spent on this, I'd much rather buy the tree hut ones. I am now realizing that I forgot to talk about this guy. This was the Peach Slices Peach Pudding Makeup Cleanser. This, that name is a perfect descriptor for the texture that this had. This had a, like very clearly it's empty, but this had a very like pudding whipped like almost look like yogurt kind of texture to it. Really, really enjoyed this. Super, super creamy, really nice with my very dry, dehydrated face skin anymore. This is more like the Pond's Cold Cream kind of makeup cleanser where it's like a super, super creamy texture and you apply it and it feels like a moisturizer, but it removes your makeup. Tried my luck with a new cleanser, cleansing, like makeup remover product and we will talk about that at my purchases because boy do I hate that. I also finished, I will put a card here real quick if you haven't seen my deck of panning update, I'll let you click and avoid a spoiler that way. I ended up finishing my Givenchy Irresistible Lotion. This, I ended up really hating it at the very end. So definitely more of like a summer, spring kind of scent to me, like very late spring, teetering into summer. This is just so unbelievably sweet. Very reminiscent to the Bath & Body Works scent Sweet Pea. I don't know if that exists anymore. I don't really shop at Bath & Body Works, so I have no idea. But this is so sickeningly sweet. Something I'm not going to show too long because it's grubby and it's gross. This is just, I'm conning it quits with this guy. This was a beauty bakery blending egg, blending sponge. I got my life out of it. I'm cool with retiring that one. I have so many other sponges and I have a very bad time cycling through my sponges and like in an appropriate amount of time. I also am, I'm gonna count this in my empties. This is a brush that I'm technically, mm, is no longer serving me, but I've had these for years, so long. I've had these for so unbelievably long. I used to have that brush subscription thing that Morphe did with like Live Glam. So I used to get brushes every month for like years, years. And I canceled that three years ago. So I've had a collection of brushes that I'm just kind of like using until they die <laughs> at this point. Like when I say they die, I mean like they are like scratching my eyes. Like when I'm trying to put it on, it's not soft and I can feel like it's hurting. So that is the boat for this guy. This is the M200 Amorphe brush. I'm going to count this in my empties because I've used this for years, for years and years and years. And I feel like that deserves me counting it in my empties. Then my absolute last product that I ended up finishing, I ended up finishing this one yesterday, actually, when I was filming a couple of my Three Looks, One Palette videos. I'll link that in the cards and in the description box because that should be the video before this one. But I ended up finishing this guy here. This is my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I was panning this in either my deck of panning or my year-long project pan, and I rolled it out of whatever project it was in because I was like, I know I'm gonna finish it. I'm not worried about it. It's taking up a slot that could be given to something else. 
but I wanted to focus on this one first because this has a expiration date of May 2023 and I wanted it out before it expired and we're there. I decided to not cut it open because I've really squeezed everything that I possibly can out of this and due to the formula of this I don't think it'll do well if I cut it out and put it in a container. So I'm just counting this done. I'm cool with this. There are a couple items that are leaving my collection not because I finished them, but I have a couple eyeshadows that I'm actually going to be decluttering as well. These two are so pretty. Like, look how beautiful these are. These are so gorgeous, especially this one here. These are a couple shades from Juvia's Place. This is the shade um, Zora from the Saharan 2 palette. And then this guy here is from the Deuce palette, which was discontinued long ago. Um, but this is the shade Custard. I used these both in an eye look relatively recently and my eyes were so unbelievably uncomfortable after using them. So I think it's just time. These are very old in my collection and this is another thing that I do need, like why I'm doing a no pan left behind is so I can find stuff like this that is it's not serving me anymore. Let me just go over my February intentions. So if you watched my last Trash It and Cash It video, you would have saw I wanted to I had three intentions that I really wanted to focus on and keep in the back of my mind for the month of February. The first was no more than two purchases within the month so I could buy twice. Wasn't allowing myself to buy any other time but twice. So I did not meet that goal, unfortunately. I kind of did, but I kind of didn't. I also intended for the month of February to be in under $100 spending month and we did not meet that goal we were doing really 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 well and then my skin from one of the products that i purchased was in such bad shape that i was like i need something to help it and then the third intention that i had for the month was no zero makeup was coming into my collection i am not spending money on makeup at all for february and that is the one and only goal that i actually held true i did get a piece of pr in the month of February, which I will talk about, but I didn't spend my own hard-earned money on makeup this month. So my first purchase was February 11th at Ulta Beauty. Obviously, I shop there a lot. I work there. I shop there. It's I've been a fan of Ulta since prior to working there, but I ended up making a purchase during a mix and match mini event that was going on. So they had like all their like all the minis prestige minis were like buy one get one free so I wanted to try this guy this is the Clinique take the day off balm charcoal cleansing balm I was like ooh, that's exciting it's gonna really purify the skin so I got this and then the regular take the day off balm I ended up giving my mom the other one that I purchased because I was like oh I already have this open I'm just gonna use this like she can have the other one totally fine she probably needs it more than I do right now this is not geared for my skin and I don't know why I didn't read the packaging or do any research before purchasing it but I figured like I, I love it I love the Clinique take the day off balm I'll love this one this is so unbelievably drying on my skin I think my skin hates charcoal also because I'm so I'm so irritated on my skin like I, it feels like scratching like someone's just clawed at my face i cheated guys i cheated on my normal store i haven't bought anything from sephora in years like literal years i haven't shopped at sephora in so long so long but i ended up purchasing a couple things because again i was so desperate for something new to cleanse the makeup off my skin so i ended up making all of my other purchases yesterday on the 26th of february so i ended up we were we were being adults and we were going silverware shopping <laughs> and the store was closed when we went they were like opening in 10 minutes but there was a sephora right by where we were going and you know who who offered to go or said hey you should go look in Sephora my husband I love that man so much but he told me that I should go into Sephora and poke around for a little bit while I waited for the other store to open so I did that and I ended up purchasing this guy because I liked the formula on my hand of this and I've used this a couple times since buying it yesterday I've used it twice um I actually like it then something this was a total impulse like did I need it no 
have I been eyeing it for a little while? Yes. And I was going to buy a full size fragrance of this, but I opted for this trial size because I was like, I don't know if I'll really like it. Let me let me taste test it. So I ended up getting the replica sampler pack essentially and I'm super excited I've been wanting by the fireside this guy here for so long I'm like I like anything that smells campfirey it's just like a scent that I really love I'm really drawn to it um like not the candle that's burning here but I have candles in my house that are like campfire scented that are burning away right now and it smells incredible Josh has like a beard balm like mustache wax that smells like toasted marshmallows I love anything that reminds me of like fall and autumn and roasting marshmallows and like a blazing bonfire because that's one of my favorite things. So I've been eyeballing by the fireside forever. And then autumn vibes is another incredible one. Like so many things in here are so nice. You have a lot of daytime and nighttime scents. The same day I made that Sephora purchase, I ended up wanting to go purchase what I fully intended to purchase. So this was kind of like, I need something to get me through. Like I am desperate. Whereas everything in here, my very large Ulta bag, was stuff that I truly like thought I wanted. I thought about it. I wanted to splurge on a new skincare brand that I've never tried before. So that's what's in here. First, I need to mention this because this is part of the purchase I just took home from work today. I placed this order yesterday and I did like a pickup like buy online, pick up in store. So I ordered it last night. We picked it this morning and I'm taking it home with me today. I ended up grabbing a candle from Ulta. I love the Ulta candles. I think they're incredible. Cannot recommend them enough. And then because I made a $19.50 Ulta purchase, I ended up getting a free gift with purchase. So I never usually qualify for the free gift, so I normally don't care. But I ended up qualifying for this one. So I got this cute little makeup bag cute little yellow makeup bag with some cosmetic products in it. I ended up purchasing a La Roche-Posay moisturizer. This is just what my dermatologist recommends is La Roche-Posay. So we grabbed some products. I am almost done with my smaller size of the Torlane, Tolerane, I don't know, the Hydrating Gentle Cleanser by La Roche-Posay. I've almost finished the smaller size. I believe it's like a six ounce. I'm almost done with that. So I figured I'd snag this guy while there was a bonus point offer going on. Same thing why I grabbed the moisturizer. I figured they'd play nicely together and I was almost done with my daily moisturizer that I'm currently using. And then this is all the stuff that I'm excited because I've never tried this fancy brand of skincare and I'm super excited about it. So I ended up picking up a couple things from Dermalogica. I have been wanting to try the pre-cleanse cleansing oil or cleansing makeup remover thing for a while. This is what I fully intended to buy. I did not intend to make a Sephora purchase. This is truly what I intended on buying. I also grabbed a straight cleanser. This is the intensive moisture cleanser. Now, I got this because my skin is so dry. I figured, why not try to rebalance my moisture layer of my skin? We'll grab this guy, see what this does. I'm, I have high hopes for this. I also have high hopes for this guy. So this is the Intensive Moisture Balance Moisturizer. So all in all, the purchase from Ulta with my Dermalogica products. Oh my gosh, there's too much that candle that I'm not going to hold, and these guys. This purchase was a grand total of $149.99, as humanly close to $150 as we possibly could, and there was a bonus incentive. I feel like that always suckers me in. There was a bonus offer with Ulta where if you spent a certain amount, um, they had three different tiers, but if you spent $100, you got 500 bonus points. So I was like, no brainer. I'm definitely gonna just spend 100 bucks and get a bunch of points back that I'm gonna stockpile and then buy a Natasha Denona palette one day from Ulta using all those points. So all in all, I feel like I did pretty well. Throughout the month of February, I also received a couple items of, of makeup, but I didn't purchase the makeup. So I feel like it's kind of like a weird situation. So the first thing is a piece of PR. So Fantasy Cosmetica and Jordan from Fantasy Cosmetica reached out to see if I would be interested in this palette as well. 
definitely was. It's incredible. Um, wearing it on my eyes. I already have a three looks one palette filmed. It should be the video before this, as I mentioned, but I did end up receiving this guy in PR. This thing is so stunning. Can we just talk about that top middle shade? That is what I'm wearing on my lid. This is truly one of my favorite kinds of shades ever. I also received a couple items through gratis from work. It is free product for being an Ulta Beauty employee. So I ended up grabbing two primers because what else do I love? I just love primers so darn much. So I saw this in the box and I was like, mine immediately knew like locked eyes with it. it was like, you are going home with me. I don't care. I don't care what else is in this box. I love this. This is one of my favorite primers of all time. Then I also received this guy here. This is just a like travel sample size of the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigment Illuminating Primer. I'm having a really hard time with my foundations also. I'm just very unhappy with like the way that my skin looks right now. So that all to say, if anyone has any recommendations for primers, skincare, um, foundation, concealer, anything, anything that's made for so dry skin. I would love to know. I would truly love to know because your girl is suffering over here. So for the month of March, I would like maybe like five and under purchases. I would like to do under five purchases. It's going to be probably a retail therapy kind of month because Bandit gets his surgery on the 15th. So I have a feeling I'm going to feel really anxious and sad for many days and I will be looking to splurge in other areas. However, I'm really going to try to, if I am going to make purchases, I only want to do one purchase a week. Like I have to be thoughtful about what I'm bringing in. I'm at Ulta day in and day out. So I need to be cognizant and actually like, like this sounds good. And then the next week be like, okay, do I still want that? If I do, maybe I can purchase it then. Maybe not. I just know that next month is going to be a hard month for me. So I don't know if I want to really set many intentions. Um, so we'll try to keep it under five purchases for the month of March. I'm also thinking no more than five makeup items. That could be, I could buy all five makeup items in one go and be totally gone for the rest of the month. Or I can stagger them here and there. Um, I will allow myself purchasing Cleona or Indie Shadows like singles if I want to. I've been wanting to add Cleona shades into my collection, but during the restocks this month, I'm like, okay, well, I can't, I don't want to purchase because I'm doing really well on my like no buy for the month. But I feel like I would like to purchase possibly. And this is like, I'm just letting my, letting it out there. If I do bring a Cleona shadow in, it's not the end of the world kind of thing. But I would love it if I could buy enough to make my palette look filled so I would need three more Cleona shades or eight more like I can fit like a decent amount so I'm going to limit myself to no more than 10 Cleona eyeshadows purchased this month if I even do it who knows if I even will so I will let myself though if I want to um I also want to what do I want to do I want to finish up I want to finish my mini products that are in projects which if you know, you know, if you don't go watch my year long <laughs> on top of finishing my sample size products that are in projects, I would also like to finish my two skin. I'm pointing to my bathroom that you guys can't see. I want to finish my two skincare products that are so close to being done. Um, they still have like a solid months of work. Like I diligently have to work on them, but I would love it if I could finish them by the end of the month. My intentions are kind of all over the place this month. I don't really have a plan. We're flying by the seat of our pants, I like to say. But that is it. That is everything for my Trash It and Cash It for the month of February. I would love to know if you guys brought any things in your collection that you're excited about. Did you take advantage of Ulta's little gift with purchase thing? Did this sucker you in? They had a pink version of this too. Did this call its siren song to you? I don't know. Let me know. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!